Hello YouTube, it's William. Welcome to a uh, another carving video. Um, I'm out here smoking some sausage, some deer sausage. You take a look. Oh, don't that look good? So that uh, deer I killed at Massey Farm. So that's about half of it. Got about 50 pounds of sausage out of it. It's not counting the roast and the steaks and all this other stuff. So very blessed. But anyway, uh, the video is about a carving kit and some trucker mods. Uh, the um, Winger or the Swiss Army Knife um, Trekker. I love that design. But uh, there were some mods that I thought actually enhanced it for what I use it for. And it may help you as well. Now, <clears throat> I did a mod uh, many, several years ago. I'm not going to say many, but several years ago. Where I, well, first of all, let's, let's uh, take a look at this little carving kit that I have that I keep in my pack. Have uh, just a little wee whittler of mine. Um, it's a, this one is, is a saber. I like a saber knife um, for that. So it's just got a stronger edge. And um, that stays in there. Um, move the camera down a little bit. Have a little bit of sandpaper, just uh, 220 and 150 grit. Um, I have a little auger here. We got a small pair of uh, needle nose vice grips. I mean, you never know when you need a third hand. And this is my trekker that I keep in here, but we'll go through that in just a minute. And this is a spoon knife or a hook knife. Um, I sold my my crooked knife because I just never I never used it that much. And I really don't use this very often, but I, I bought it probably about 10 years ago before I even started making knives. And this is a SD. It's a custom maker out of Sweden. <clears throat> it's a very good crook knife. It's a little thick, but um, it'll it'll get the job done. What I did was just folded a piece of nine ounce leather and stuck it in there so it kind of protects the the blade from the pouch. Just folded it over like a U and stuck it in there. So when I put the blade in there, it doesn't cut through. But anyway, that's that's my little kit, and um, <clears throat> it's just a. Um, one of those little roll pouches. This is an Irwin. I think I got it at the bargain bin at uh, Harbor Freight for like a buck or something like that. But if you keep your eye out, you can find things like that. All right. <clears throat> so here's the Trekker. And of course, everybody knows it's got the uh, Master Blade. And I've had this one for probably 10, 12 years. Uh, a saw, a very good saw, a little saw. Um, and it has a. Um, a locking which I think is very cool a locking straight screwdriver but about five years ago I changed that to a chisel and basically it just as far as a carving tool it just works wonders as a chisel because that blade is locked so you can just you can just get in there and just chisel out all kinds of material you can you can go deep or you can do finesse when you turn the chisel over do those those fine fine cuts but I was watching um, John McCain on survival resources and he's always got some great ideas great channel if you haven't if you haven't visited his channel then then uh, please do because he I mean he has a lot of great ideas he took a farmer and he took the can opener and he made a little small cutting blade, and that's what I did. What I did was I just rounded this off, and I, you could do it with a file if you don't have a little grinder. And it's basically got a almost a chisel grind, which is a one grind all the way to zero. But I actually just kind of did a small micro bevel on the back side, and I took this little hook here, and I just I just ground it off. And basically, what you have is you have almost a spoon knife. Because it will get in there and it will it will take out some material now. See there? 
So if you if you have a trekker that you don't use the can opener on, then maybe that's an option for you if you want a little carving knife or a farmer or any of the trekker or the the uh, the Swiss Army knives that has a a um, a can opener on it. I mean, you, those little P38s or 50, uh, 58s are, is um, is very very cheap if you want to get those off a of line and use that as a can opener and, and change your your can opener on your knife as a little whittler or carver thing. So I I thought that that was kind of cool and worth passing on to you guys if you haven't seen it. Uh, but like I say, check John McCain's uh, channel out, the Survival Resources. He did uh, he did the video. I don't know if it's up on his channel or not, but he did the video on uh, on Facebook is where I saw it. So I don't know if he put it on his channel or not. But see, just like that, and you have you have a pretty decent spoon bowl. So it's uh, it's a very good little little small finesse carving blade. If you want to just get out there and just whittle on a stick, then that may be an option for you. Or if you needed a chisel, then there you go. And then you have a master blade, so I'm not sure, and also a saw. So I'm not sure that um, you need much else to whittle on a stick. Well, I hope you found that this was helpful and, and give you some ideas. I mean, a trekker also has, has the, uh, the reamer too on it if you wanted to, to drill some holes. So um, a very versatile tool if you want to make some modifications to fit your needs. And there are so many different variations as far as what Swiss Army knife uh, or Swiss Army produces or Wagner. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, for different different tool sets and, and things. So, you know, just you let your imagination go wild with you and um, modify it to fit your needs. Okay, so on the next, and until the next one, you guys get out in the backyard, whittle on a stick, take your little Swiss Army knife and do some modifications if it's not exactly perfect for you. And if you do, be sure to take a child if you have the opportunity. And, um, don't forget those band-aids and lots of knives. Or just one modified SAK. We'll catch you guys again soon.